For the first time since 2005, the Australian Open final will not have a member of the big three in it. Wow. Insane. It was wild. Lindsay Hewitt Rick? Saffin. Yeah. That's, That's how exactly long ago it was. Oh, That's my exactly gosh. What it was. We talked yesterday. We needed to see it to believe it. Yep. What did you see? Yeah, it was a remarkable performance from Sinner. One thing to do with two out of three sets indoors, another thing to do with three out of five sets on Novak's favorite court. And, Steve, every set, here's Sinner winning three points on a serve, crushing ground strokes, dominating the baseline rallies, getting to everything, feeling comfortable when he moves forward. Players look at parts of their game to improve. Mm -hmm. Certainly, you're, okay, if I want to win a major, I got to do X. It looks like Sinner took his game and went, okay, I'm going to improve X, Y, Z plus more. Right. And, and really, the whole package, that's really hard to do. Normally, you focus on one area, maybe two. But everything about his game is so good now. I, I was impressed that he was able to keep it through the course of all four sets. That's what I think is so impressive. This is a guy who's got a history of losing five setters at majors. Last time he played Novak in a major, he lost in straight sets. He loses that match point. Novak absolutely steals that third set. What does he do? He resets and wins in four. That was really impressive. And here's a graphic that gives you a little sense of, of the history here. Um, I, you know, for, first Italian player, though, again, we point this out. He grew up as far away from the Austrian border as I am from Prakash. I would, <laughs> can, I would, I would say that he's about as much Teutonic as he is Italian, but uh, no, I mean, this is really impressive, and all of a sudden, here's a guy who sees 4-2 and two against opponents, ranked number one. We have talked about him for a few years, and we were waiting for that breakthrough. Guess what? He has broken through. He has. He's won 19 of his last 20 matches, dating back to last October. Prakash, three of those are against Novak Djokovic. What kind of statement did he make? Well, uh, being able to do it in a best-of-five set match at a semis of a slam is a completely different ballgame altogether. I think there are two notable things to look at. Lindsay, you talked about all the areas where he's improved, but being able to sort of emotionally manage that in a situation like this where he's only been once before. He's only been to the semis once. You're playing a guy who's 10-0 in semis. To be able to maintain that after having the match points, like you talked about, John, in that fourth set, and just look very natural there. It didn't look like he was going for a huge win. He looked very much like, this is where I belong, and these are the kind of matches I should be winning. And then on top of that, on a separate note, Novak, yeah. he did look sort of a, a, a little slow on that first step. He didn't look like he had as much punch on that forehand, on that back, and all his shots. A little out of place. 54 unforced errors. I can't remember the last time we saw him do that's that. A, that's a it, tournament. It, in a big match, exactly. Yeah. A semis of a slam. Uh, to keep going with that, Martina, I mean, Djokovic himself said he was shocked with his level. One of the worst Grand Slam matches he's ever played. I mean, what happened? What went wrong? I think two things happened. Uh, Yannick Sinner is tall and he's moving so much better than he used to. And when Novak hits those corners, he's used to getting a weaker shot back. But because of Yannick's height and reach, he was able to neutralize those shots. So he wasn't on defensive much during the rallies. And the other thing that happened, when you get older, those bad days get worse. And, and they come out of nowhere. Also, maybe playing daytime. You know, he's played four, four of his five matches in the night and you, your clock doesn't reset as easily when you get older as well. So it's a combination of all those things, nothing that happened. And uh, Novak, for the first time, doesn't get a break point, which is unheard of. It is shocking. And uh, the, the quest for 25 is going to have to wait for now. We are guaranteed a first-time Australian Open champion.